this evangelism tool come our way and I wondered, well, another course, is it worthwhile? But as I looked into it myself, I thought we, we need to have a look at these things and my wife uh, was able to take it along to a ladies group meeting and it's made a lot of difference in, the, in the, those ladies' lives and I've been really excited about it and it's, um, it's really getting catching fire and, and I'd like to see a lot more groups and we will endeavour to get a lot more groups started and having a look at it because it's changing the whole concept of evangelism in our church. I'm Andrea and I'm part of the, the ladies group who meet on a Thursday morning. Most of us have done Bible in schools in a local primary school. And the first episode we saw of this, what really struck me was when Julian spoke of a vision that the Lord had given him at some stage that changed his life. And I remember as a child seeing a, a picture of, and it was a painting, and it was a painting of these sailors disappearing over the, over the edge of the earth because they thought the earth was flat. And, and there's this terrified look on these faces, and I've always had that painting in my mind. Anyway, Julian reveals a vision that the Lord gave him of, of people disappearing over a over a waterfall and they're clawing their way back up. The noise is terrible. One side of the waterfall people are just going about their daily lives, just doing what they do, and on the other side, yeah, hey, this is the church group, and what are they doing? They're praying, they're singing, they're doing good things, they're having stalls, they're running day camps, they're doing all sorts of things. But in the meantime, people are going over and over and the noise is horrendous. And, and Mel has just reminded me that the church people, not only were they doing their own thing, their backs were turned to these people who were perishing. And that brought back visions to me and memories to me of, of that old picture. And I just, I know too many people who are clinging and who are going over. And this series has just been, just been spot on. And, absolutely turning my thinking around 360 mm. and I want to see more and do more. Mm. There's one incredibly powerful vision that, that Julian speaks about on this DVD series and it, it's just so moving and you've just got to see that, if nothing else, you've just got to see that vision displayed. Hello, I'm Delwyn Chambers from the Arrowroa Church, pastor's wife. And we got hold of these DVDs a little while ago and started our ladies group this at the beginning of the year. And the first one, we all were transformed. Just couldn't believe. I guess for me it was how deceived I was about what evangelism was and what the gospel was. And the result of that, particularly with teaching Bible in schools, is really having a focus on presenting the gospel to the children in a, in a form that they can understand and making sure that they don't just get a social gospel, but they know what the real gospel is. I really recommend that you purchase these DVDs, this set, because it will transform any group that you show it to and it will therefore transform the church. I'm Thelma and I belong to the Ararua Ladies Group too. Uh, this series has really impacted me uh, with the Great Commission. I know we, the Lord tells us to share the gospel and I think, oh yes, but I'm not really getting any opportunities and um, if, if the opportunity really shows up, I, I'm able to do it. But having seen this, this series, it's really come home to me again. What am I doing? I'm not doing anything really. I'm, I take Bible in schools, but that's it. And my real responsibility is to try and tell people the gospel, the good news that Jesus can give them salvation. And I really recommend that anyone looks at these. It will really be a wake up call to you. Yes, I, I'm Brian, the fortunate husband of Merle, whose home these lovely ladies meet in. And consequently, and usually after the group, I get a resume of all that's gone on. Over the years, I've learnt quite a few things, obviously. But just very recently, when Merle told me this uh, 
principle that all we're doing is ploughing really, really hit home to me and made me think. And I'd just like to recommend this to anyone for a total new aspect of uh, the Christian message and how we are to present it to the world. And I really appreciate the opportunity and look forward to hearing more about it. Thank you.